All right, episode three. Let's get it going. All right, so at the last episode, we took a lot of missions, and we're hoping that these missions pan out. One of the missions that we really need to pan out and like soon is the export sugar mission because, well, that mission. His Majesty has commissioned the fight. Gives us mandate uh, time. And mandate time is always oh so precious. We have a mission to make money, but we're not. Um, we had a mission to form two new guard towers. We're doing that right now. And we have a mission for five new country houses. Well, as you can see, the money, though it may be coming back, isn't coming back fast enough. So we're going to have to wait on that one, too. For the most part, I kind of messed up and took the missions to uh, build guard houses and the like because I know Ivita Vasquez, her, her missions are like awesome later on down the road. So just make her happy. And I should have went for money missions. Ugh. So now I'm hurting, but it's fine. The other thing that's gonna bother me immensely is the fact that I did not make this road network symmetric. You can see there's one large line road kind of highway going this way and I did not do that over here. But I also know that this back area is not gonna be as populous as this front area. So it is what it is, right? Right. Our efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Damn right it is. As a sign of gratitude for the support of the movement, the revolutionaries have offered their help. Remember, to, you need to increase your approval rating above 50% to declare independence. Now check it out. We got a uh, freaking, you know, subversive dude, Leo Kane, comes to and says, hey man, I want to help you get independence. And then we have really, really odd, awkward, Soviet bloc era, Evita Vasquez, Who's telling us, oh, well, you still need 50% to declare independence. Hmm. I feel a very interesting plot line coming on. Either way, I really, really want this $2,000. But I know for a fact, the new trade routes with the smugglers, that might pan out. The problem is, we don't have a problem. So we're going to go ahead and, and take the... Revolutionaries. And you'll find out why. You're probably thinking, But you said the money's the most important, dude. The money, dude. Listen. Progress is the key here. Money is the most important. But I'm making money. I might not be showing it on people, but I'm making money. Not to mention the fact that the crown's going to give me more money. So right now, we're going to wait for this export sugar. Um mission to complete, which I am so confused at why it hasn't completed yet. And we're going to go ahead and check out our trade missions. And true to form, we get some really good missions. So, coffee, sugar, cocoa. Let's see what else we get. Looks like that's all we get. And to be honest with you, it looks like pineapples would be the way to go. But I think we already have a mission selected. So we're going to stop that. I think we're importing sugar at the cyclic rate. Yes, we are. 7000 Oh, $7,000 are sitting at the dock right here. That is good to see. Oh, man, that makes me smile. All right, Doc, you're really loud. Thanks, but no thanks. So if the crown gives me another 58 hundo, and I make 7k off of that, that export, which if I check the, the ocean, ah, two are leaving, one is on the way. Oh, the crown gave me $5,000. So I'm going to make 7k off this next one. Almost 8k. God, trade, man. Love it. Um, this is going to be a boon to our economy. Hopefully we can get more sugar on the go. As a matter of fact, let me check to see if these are pirates or not. Immigrant freighter, that is good. That means they're gonna buy stuff. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right, let's get back down to earth and let's do this thing. So we need to build five new homes. I'm not really into a, in a rush to do that, but I took the mission because if you don't, they'll go away. So the next thing we need to do is try to hoard the dollar bills because if we don't, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. Now we're importing sugar and that's a good thing. There we go, 9K. We're importing sugar and then selling it on the market 
for higher than what the smugglers are giving it to us for. That is a good thing. Let's watch as my debt rolls just disintegrate. $19,000, right? Doc strats, execute. His Royal Majesty has <laughs> instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. Now. Your achievements in the name of the Empire. Empire. Every time we satisfy a royal, com a royal mandate, we get this commendation. Now, we're at three years, and that's not bad. But I really don't know when I'm going to get another royal mandate. So, one of the only times I'm going to take the additional mandate extension is now. Because if I can get it to four years, that'll give us enough time to declare independence. Let's get those additional mandate extensions on the go. And let's watch our money do its work. Now, there is a limit to how much these um, a export guys can take in the early game. And I'm thinking that... Someone it, stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. They even stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies prance under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are very queer. That is a very interesting pun, and if no one knows where that's from, that, that comes from uh, that movie where those guys go to the mountain, uh, Brokeback Mountain. So uh, if you have never seen the movie, don't. But that's where that pun comes from. It's pretty, pretty funny. Um, either way, we got our ranch upgrade. So we can't buy the upgrade, but eventually we'll be able to. Right now, our research facility is paying off exponentially. And I'm loving it. I have no clue where these guys came from. Because I didn't... Oh, I do. I got them from Leon Kang. That was a really good... That was a really good move on my part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start researching the shovel. Because... It'll only take five minutes to finish. And then we'll, we will um, research the lumber mill. Now, I'm all about industry. I am all about industry. Um, there are certain situations where I will go a different path, like the military fort. It's just good. It's just good. But um, unless you're playing a mission where there's a lot of revolt risk or armies attacking you, it really doesn't matter. This game's all about building. It's all about the money. It's all about the industries. Lumber mill on the go, after shovel. Bank it, write it down. All right, so we still have two missions and I am looking for another mission pretty soon. You see they didn't take all the sugar. Boo the food, but that's fine. I think there's another freighter out there. No, there isn't. All right, so sometimes you can check to see if there's a freighter out there um, or you can just go to the dock. It'll tell you four uh, months for the next ship. All right, uh, I guess. Alrighty then. Now we need to get some houses on the go, but uh, I don't have money to do that. So let's just hope we don't get revolt risk because I really can't, I can't deal with it right now. And let's hope that the uh, the crown gives us some cash pretty soon. $5,000 will get us above that $10,000 limit, which we will be able to buy stuff, but I won't. Uh, and then um, our sugar is going to get us to the next level. So let's look at our trade again. And let's see what's out there right now. Interesting. Huh. I don't want to import logs just yet. I don't have a lumber mill to import logs too. Uh, sugar. That's that's gotta that's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. Um, wowzers. Don't need the corn. And nothing else looks lucrative. This looks like the best bang for the buck. So we'll just keep on waiting. Hopefully we get a ship soon because we need the money. Like, really bad. Now, some of you are probably yelling at me and going, well, if you built the damn mine, you wouldn't be having this problem. I know. But you know what? I didn't want to. I wanted to try a different strat. So when the, strat when, when the mine comes out, best believe that'll be the next thing that we build. And mines are approximately, well, it doesn't tell me how much they cost, but that's fine in due time. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to upgrade 
the um, cattle farms, and we're going to upgrade our logging camp. Oh, we need... We need electricity. Reforestation is something else, and we can't get that till after the World Wars. So, that is fine. We shall wait. And waiting is something that I do very well. Hmm. I also can't build roads, or I'd start building some very interesting road networks. So, I guess we just sit back and listen to the beautiful music. Ah, mission. His royal majesty would like to know more God. about your island, old chap. Be a good fellow and send a few men out to explore the island a bit. Now, $2,000, we'll make $1,000 on the exploration. But God, why? I don't want to. Our research team, that is to say me, there are the mines. The shovel 40 times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. It's pretty hilarious, but uh, a lot of government agencies think this way. So, I know they're making fun of them, but it's it's true. Either way, we're okay. When we get that money, $8,000. That should get us where we need to be. And let's pick Lumber Mill as our next research. Our next research. Hopefully the crown stops being uh, tight-fisted and gives us some cash. And I mean soon. We can totally use it. Six months to the next ship. That ain't good. All right. There will come a time where your expenses will far outweigh the amount of money that you uh, that you make. And uh, my time is now, unfortunately. I think I've overstretched my boundaries with these guardhouses. I should have used that money for something else. But such is life. Ooh, another mission. While His Majesty finds your island's backwardness most amusing, he is now worried that it will hinder his great plan. Such is that the Majesty doesn't know that we've already researched this. His Royal Majesty Instantaneous has me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. So I'm not sure if His Majesty realizes that all that money came or all that stuff came at light speed, but I don't care. Money, please. Thank you. So now let's get the mines on the go because you know what? Can't do without the mines. So, ah, uh, just don't. I just don't have enough. I am literally two hundred ninety-eight dollars out. Oh, that stinks so bad. All right. Well, I guess we have to wait for them to buy more sugar. Four months to the next ship. That's not bad. We can wait. I am tempted, though, to build something else. And... Uh, oh, the expedition. That is right. Pause. So, which way do we want to explore? I think I want to explore down this way. Because these mines over here look very nice. Very nice! So let's do just that. Off with you. And now, Did we'll you take know the mandate. There are treasures buried on our island. We should investigate. Funny, I've already invested in the shovel technology. Instantaneous mission completion. Oh yeah. All right. So let's play. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Now. I would take three more educated citizens, but I'll take the money because I need that more. Man, it just seems like the more money I make, the less money I have. Oh, what is this? When do we charge? Ah, there goes my expedition. They are the beasts of our island. May you find great wealth and happiness. But I'm not going to follow you. Because, well, that would be boring. I need the money. Ah, oh, trees falling. This is good. 
Crown sends me 6K, and that is exactly what I needed. Crown, you read my mind. It is time to get some mines. All right, guys, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Kids are getting a little ornery. I had no clue what they were doing. The neighbors downstairs would have called the police with the quickness. All right, so let's get these roads on the go. Now my dog wants to make noise. It just never ends, man. My house is like a freaking zoo. Well, I apologize for the kids and the dog, but I love them, so can't just kick them out the house, right? But when I get my, my backyard, oh, they're getting kicked out of the house. That is for sure. Right now, we live in a two-bedroom apartment, and uh, <sighs> sometimes I cry myself to sleep. No, no, I'm just playing. I, I, I don't cry I don't myself to sleep at all. But yeah, sometimes it gets a little annoying because I don't listen, but yeah, as kids, it happens. All right, so... We just discovered the number of times you need to get hit by a plank to actually discover something. It is around seven, depending on the plank in question. We call this the plank constant. I am sure it will become very important one day. Now that's actually pretty funny too, because the plank constant is a theory in physics. I don't know what it is per se, but it, it is pretty funny to use that as an example. Either way, we're going to build the lumber mill because gosh darn it, we need the lumber. And... It makes a lot more money for us. So let's go ahead and research. Um, get these new skills on the go. And let's see how much the lumber mill costs. Yeah, you might be saying, but speed dealing, you're you are literally moving at the speed of light and buying stuff. And you're absolutely right, I am. Because the more you buy the more you make. The more you build, the more you make. Um, I don't see the lumber mill, and that is disheartening. Oh, please. Oh, the grocery. We will build that. That, that is going to happen. And it's going to happen right now. You know what? What the heck is a see Ah, that is so good. Look at that. I can still build the road. I'm loving it, but I'm not going to build the road because this corn plantation is going to go off to the bye bye pretty soon. So I sent out the expedition. What was I doing? Lumber mill, right? Where are we at with the lumber mill? Catholic mission. Mm. We're not going to build that just yet. We're going to wait. Lighthouse. Going to wait on the lighthouse. We are going to. Man, where is it? I am I missing it? Like it should literally be under industry. Oh, lumber mill, ten thousand dollars. Wow, and I have my glasses on. So, oh well. Nine thousand dollars worth of goods, and we still got twenty five hundred dollars worth of goods sitting at the dock. And another mission. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your designs. Now mind you, I built two plantations. I also upgraded those two plantations at great cost. So guess what? Instantaneous Dasha! His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. For your achievements in the name of the Empire. In the name of the Empire. Like we're in Star Wars. Either way. 
At this point, we don't need the 12 months, but we do need the dosh. So we're going to take the dosh. Kaboom. And we're going to build... We're going to build some of these because we have way too many shanties. Yeah, that put me under, and I'm still not satisfying one of my missions, but right now, it's about the revolt risk. Which is also why I built the marketplace. Marketplace is a very good place. It really is. Because, now, all that corn isn't going to go to the dock. It's going to go to the marketplace. Now, I haven't done any edicts. And there's a reason for that. But I think it's time that we did. Um, do some edicts. We're going to do extra rations because, well, everyone is happy about extra rations. There is not enough bread in our bread and circuses. Most tropicans each eat once a day. This makes them slim and athletic, but not very happy. Some extra rations would be more than welcome when we have food to spare. Don't forget, fat and lazy people are less likely to revolt. So, issue. Also, we are going to issue... We don't have any more to issue. Uh, I would do the disaster relief fund, but I don't have $350 to spare per month. Um, the tax cut's great when you're going to get elected, but we're never going to get elected, so could care less. Wealth tax is really good when you're running out of money, but it also makes a lot of people upset, so we're not going to do that. Right to arms is really, really good, and it makes your infantry that much stronger, but it also makes it easier for crime um, and uprisings to happen. You don't want that. No free lunch? I'll do that when I'm low on cash. Right now, this is kind of the, the status quo for me until I get some better industries, such as life. Let's check out that expedition. The expedition has made a wonderful discovery. A peculiar, wide-eared marsupial. What shall we name it? We should name it Increased Revolutionary Support. Because, well, that's what we need. And that six-month mandate extension on the go is not that bad either. Gimme. And, by the way, these are very good mines for later on down the road because uranium, my friend, is a very expensive product. Now, I could have told him to come here, but I just don't care. Doesn't make me money, so not worth my time. Let's get some more road networks going. There we go. And I probably should put a mine there. What is this? Iron, right? Iron lasts forever. The indomitable resource. There we go. So we already got that mine. We have this mine going. Can I make any upgrades? Not until World War II or after the World Wars. But that's fine. Now. You will find that my unemployment is still, oh, it's not high anymore. Well, that is bad. I need more people to work, or I'm going to start running into an underemployment problem, which is much worse than unemployment, um, because my productivity will go down. As you can see, the graph, let me go back real quick. You can see the graph here at the bottom. If I scroll over unemployed, it's gone down dramatically. And when that happens, when your houses have space for people to live and you have a lot of jobs, people will immigrate to your uh, island. One problem you will run into is keeping a balance between the amount of houses and jobs you have available and the amount of immigrants you have on your island and the level, the grade level of those immigrants. So what you're going to find is I'm going to build a lot more homes and fast. The reason why is because that will coerce more people to come to the island. Yes, they will be unemployed, but that's fine. I don't mind that because I'm building a lot of jobs as it is. I'm not going to build what I want to build right now because that mine is going to take three to four people. I need 
more people on the island to support the next building that I want to build. So we're going to wait. What I want to build, though, is another Teamsters office in this area. If I do that, the speed at which things get to the dock will skyrocket. Either way, we're going to ignore that. And we're going to ignore that. Exit out. And, well, now we're in a holding pattern. We need more money. We can upgrade the housing quality if we had electricity. But it's 1663. No one's got no Tesla turbines in this mofo. $8,000, eh? Let's check out my revolutionary support. How many people love me? We have 25 homeless people and that's a problem. Our shacks have gone up. That's a really big problem. But our homeless, they're kind of tapering off. Now, I think that some people have just landed on the island from this export, if you will. So we're going to have to find a way to get those individuals into homes. Ah, here we go. So they're not homeless. It looks like the buried treasures I was told about were actually natural treasures. Still, any kind of treasure is better than no treasure. And guess what? We already have an ad on mine. So we're just going to press Acceptamundo and keep going. Our miners stumbled upon an oddly shaped ore nugget. You know, if you squint your eyes and tilt your head slightly to the right, it almost looks like... A... <laughs> So, I am not inclined to do the six-month update because we need the dosh. Dosh it is. And with that money, we are going to make more homes. I sat with three other members of the research team. Suddenly, it dawned on us. We're four men. You get it? Four men? Incidentally, we also discovered bad puns. Really bad puns, actually. I mean, really exponentially bad. We're going to press OK, because to be honest with you, that was a little humorous. And we're going to keep on moving forward. $7,000 got exported, and these guys just dropped off 3,000 units of sugar, which is going to keep us rolling in the dollar bills. And that's good. What's not good is that it looks like we're going to have to cut this short because my 20 minutes has... I'm afraid that your colony is still doing rather poorly compared to your neighbors, Puerto Coco and Isla Rojo. This BS again. His Majesty is not pleased. Well, F you. I'm not pleased either. Show me your dukes, bro. Do you even, do you even like, lift? Like, what is this? I'm not paying 10,000 ducats again. That's not happening. So we're going to pay 5,000 because it's going to put us just under the $10,000 mark. And we're going to tell them to get the F off of our island because that's some BS. And I'm also doing that because it's four months before the next shipment or the next export. And that's really good because right now our iron is just pumping out. Not to mention the fact this one is now pumping out some fierce. The reason why I didn't make an inroad between the farms is because I want this to accrue output so that when the Teamster finally makes it all the way around, he picks up a larger load and there'll always be output here. Construction of His Majesty's underwater palace has begun. The crown requires a great many tons of your crops to help pay for this massive project. Wow. So... Oh. Let's go ahead and do send half because we have a lot of mandate and I am not inclined to pay that much money or give them that much crops. So send half. And you could suck on a bag of dicks. We're going to get, oh, 
I am not. I really don't care about this military fort all that much in this in this mission. But what I do care about is the newspaper. As a matter of fact, what I care about just as much as the newspaper are these other two ones. So we're gonna get the newspaper. No, the Constitution. Because this will help us get our independence. All right, everything's looking up. And I think this is a good time to cut it short. One last look at our housing disparity here. And right now, our homeless uh, levels are dropping dramatically. I wouldn't say too dramatically, but that's a large decrease. A lot of times you'll build a home and people won't move into the home. They'll just stay in their shanties. That is annoying. Oh, there is one more edict I want to push out there. And that edict is not here. Well, that sucks. Uh, when it pops up, I'll show you, but uh, there's an edict, edict out there that I, I want. I really like this edict too, urban development. Building permit's nice. Um, but we're gonna have to research some more, forget it. And I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. And uh, I hope you had fun with me. This is episode three of the Tropical Five series. And I hope you get through it um, in a fairly quick manner. This has been a play premium playthroughs production. And uh, happy gaming. Ciao.